Hi, welcome everyone. Now in this tutorial, we will learn how to install a bootstrap theme and the next video will be creating a sub theme for Drupal 8. If you are ready, let's get started. Now let's go to a bootstrap theme project page. Scroll down. Now we are going to install a bootstrap theme Drupal 8 first alpha version. Even though it's still in alpha stage and there's still issues to be fixed at this time of recording, but I believe it will soon be ready and stable for production site. So let's get it installed, test, and be ready. Let's copy a link. Back to our Drupal site. Go to Appearance. Click on Install New Theme. Paste the link here, as usual. And click Install. Let's install the theme. Now scroll down. Now your new theme is here. Let's install a theme and set as default. Great. Let's go to the fun page and take a look. Now we are using a bootstrap theme. Let's resize the browser. Click on the nav bar button here. Good, it works. Now the core version of Drupal 8 is 2.1.4. It supports well enough for bootstrap theme, so you don't need to install jQuery update module like you did in Drupal 7 if you remember, right? The module has been included with Drupal 8 core. Let's go to appearance, click on setting, have a look, scroll down. So there are some settings here you can go through it yourself, like fluid, container, your button, you have images, which is a nice uh, feature. Once you turn it on, all your images will be added a bootstrap responsive class. Right? So we have components, JavaScripts, all these things you can go through. And we go to advanced tab here, scroll down. Now by default, bootstrap theme using CDN to link your bootstrap files. You can also switch between the version if you want. All right? Now for theme, you can also choose different theme of colors and design for your bootstrap here. There are many from Watch here you can choose. So if you choose for example, Cosmo, scroll down a bit. Now you will see right away the design here. Let's save it and take a look. Scroll down and save configuration. So back to our front page. Flash the catch. Great, now the site is using the new theme. Now since our site is under development, I usually turn off the aggregation for the CSS and JavaScript files, so that I do not need to flush a cache every single time when making changes on the CSS or JavaScript files. So you can actually go to Configuration, Development, Performance, and I will turn this tool off, all right, and save the configuration. That's great. So remember to flush caches when you select a new theme. If anything not working in the theme after changes you made, just flush the cache first before you double check what's going wrong in your settings. Alright, that's all for now. Let's create the sub theme in the next video.